The Jitex Global 20 Thank You Vibe. Uh, having you with us today. Thank you for having me. Good Thank to you. be here. Uh, let's start uh, with your AI strategy for you know future of work and learning. So ASUS has been in the AI game for a long time. Right? ASUS having been one of the early mass producers of motherboards as well. The technology, the silicon, this is all in our DNA. And how to bring innovation along with it is something where we always try to be ahead of the curve. If you look at some of the recent advancements when it comes to uh, Copilot Plus PCs, etc. We were the first ones with Intel with x86 architecture to bring it not only to consumers but also to businesses. If you look at our some of our colleagues in OP or Open Platform as they call it, uh, we have got the AI supercomputer with the DGX10 as well. So right from the data center to edge to device on prem, we are covering all gamuts of of AI. So that's part of our AI strategy from a hardware perspective. Okay. Um, uh, in terms of the advances of on-device, you know, AI processing, um, what sort of, uh, you know, functionality does it offer and what, are the, what is the feedback you have received from your customers as well? Absolutely. I think being in this region, this is something which is very, very uh, sensitive still. Uh, there is some amount of data that is on the cloud, but there is large amount of data that people or organizations or uh, governments, for example, would like to have on-prem, where they can control, where at all it is accessible from, etc. Over there, the Copilot Plus PC that we have, and we just won an award yesterday for the same as well, it's being the best AI PC device in the market right now. It allows users to run up to 30 billion parameter models on-premise. So when you're running something on-premise, your usability is becoming better. Already with NPU being inside the device, the battery life is excellent. And at the same time, you know that your data is on the device. It's not going anywhere. So from that perspective, it is checking all the boxes. And as I said, we won the award for it last year, uh, last night itself. So we're really proud. And going forward in the next coming quarters, we're going to be having more and more of these devices coming up. Okay. And um, uh, when it comes to making AI accessible across various sectors, you know, um, uh, how, you, how are you making it uh, through your product lineup? You have the Copilot, you have the AI PCs as well. Uh, so can you tell us about that? So when ASUS started their business division about five years back, uh, our prime go-to-market strategy was around public sector and education. In the last five years, we've made giant strides when it comes to market share within those two verticals. Now, as our portfolio is expanding and enterprises or pri uh, private sector is also embracing AI technology, now we are targeting those enterprise verticals as well, one by one, depending on the geography that we are talking about. So across East India, for example, there have been instances and in countries where we have reached up to 12 to 15 percent market share in public and education sector. Now in enterprise, going after healthcare, going after manufacturing in some other countries, and in this geography, maybe looking at BFSI, this is part of our strategy. And we are leading with AI with our devices, with leading with the AI story with our devices. Okay. You spoke about various sectors like, uh, you know, uh, BFSI and manufacturing. What sort of, um, you know, focus do you have for SMBs? That's a huge market here as well uh, with your products. So after public sector and, uh, uh, and uh, education, uh, SMB is something which is our, our prime goal. Because over there, we know that the... Uh, the usability and, and the price conscious customer is, is, is you know, more in SMBs. If you look at our geography as well, uh, more than 50% of our GDP in this region, in this uh, in UAE, is coming from SMEs. Now, SMEs by nature are more agile and are adapting technology faster. So that is our message because ASUS is known for its innovation. If you look at, if you go back last 15 years, ASUS has been first to market with a lot of new technologies and devices. So I believe ASUS business and SMBs is a good match. And this is also coming forward in our partner strategy, our partner landscape. So we are working with a lot of tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 partners who are catering to those SMBs, understanding their needs on a regular basis. While we are working with tier 1s for public sector, our tier 2, tier 3 partners are the ones that are giving us that reach and also keeping the customer happy. Okay. In terms of product portfolio, you have a various, uh, you know, series of products as well. And expert book is something that is, you know, picking up a lot in terms of uh, acceptance, um, um, whether when it comes to say performance, battery life. So can you tell us more about your uh, expert book series? Absolutely. You know, when 
ASU started off back in 1989 as a mass motherboard manufacturer. And we we ruled the market, right? We controlled the market. Even today, we have more than 50% market share in that regard. Then we started getting closer to the customer. So we started with consumer and gaming about 8 to 10 years back. And if you see now, our gaming is is by far number one, number one brand in the world, which is ROG series. Our consumer with VivoBook and ZenBook has also broken a lot of records, won a lot of awards. So our management is also thinking that as per IDC, more than 50% of PC client device market is commercial, is B2B. Why are we leaving that business out there? You know, it's, it's simple. So what they did is about five plus years back, they launched this Asus business division, which is catering to only business needs, to B2B kind of clients. And for that, they created a new DNA of devices, which is expert series. So within expert series, we have our expert book, which is a whole range from your education grade devices, to your ruggedized devices, from your basic computing needs, right to the flagship uh, grade devices for executive usage, etc. We have all of that on the laptop side. If you talk about all-in-ones, we have 27 inch, 24 inch, touch, non-touch, with height adjustable, all the features that you need in a business environment. And to complement all of this, we have a range of desktops as well, because there are still some markets in this region, some use cases that desire desktops for their expandability, for their ease of use, for their long longevity, longevity, etc. So we have a complete portfolio when it comes to business, which is expert series. Okay. And uh, when it comes to AI enhanced uh, security, how do your products, you know, support uh, hybrid and uh, remote workspaces? So this is a very interesting topic because as AI is growing and maturing, cybersecurity is becoming even more advanced, you know, the cybersecurity threats, the hackers out there, the red team or blue team, as we like to call it, are becoming more and more advanced. So our devices are being proactively tested. We are doing pen testing as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Not only that, all the AI bots that you have inside your workflows, we are trying to make sure that even the there are red teams out there who are doing pen testing on these AI bots. Okay. So not really attacking human behavior anymore, which used to be one of the pitfalls when, it, when we speak about cybersecurity, but also AI bots. So this, this whole thing is giving us a lot of learning. And we are also making sure that in terms of having a secondary BIOS, in case if the BIOS is corrupted, there is a second image that can take over immediately. So the usage is not uh, corrupted or the usage is also not interrupted. So from that perspective, we are making sure that by integrating AI, cyber security or security threats are not uh, let in as well. Uh, thank you for speaking to us. Uh, nice having you with us today. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.